A couple reminders, if you're using a reference photo, make sure it's in one point perspective so you're facing the back wall and the back wall makes a square. Also, the first part of our object that we draw is the part that's closest to us. It usually makes some sort of rectangle and then we can take all the corners of that to the vanishing point. We're gonna be drawing our bookshelf on the left side right about here. And we wanna make sure that it's on the floor. So we're gonna make a couple lines. The first, a vertical, touching that diagonal on the bottom. This is where a lot of students go wrong. They decide to draw their rectangle in this direction. No, don't do this. If you see, it's not actually sitting on the floor, it's going into the wall. So we're gonna erase that. And make sure you take this horizontal in the right direction so that your bookshelf is resting on the floor. I'm gonna erase this wall line because it's just gonna get in the way. And how tall or thin you make this rectangle is really up to you. It just depends what sort of bookshelf you want. And once you do that, as always, you take all your four corners to the vanishing point. You get to choose where this bookshelf ends, depending how large you want it to be. Just make sure that it doesn't go into the back wall. Raise these lines. All right, we're gonna give each of these edges a thickness. So we're gonna try to make it look like it's actually a piece of wood. So you just line up your ruler parallel and go ahead and give it another line for a thickness. Make sure that the diagonal ones you actually take to the vanishing point and that the back one is going to be thinner than the front edge because it's further away. Okay, now we're going to focus on a couple corners. This one down here and this one up here. We're going to make a line, well, two lines, connecting these corners. This is making the back wall of the bookshelf. Okay, from this little teeny corner here, we're gonna make a very small line between those two verticals. Okay, and now you can see the bottom shelf of the bookshelf. Now we're gonna make the other shelves. I like to measure mine and make them all even, but it's really up to you how many shelves you make and whether or not they're evenly spaced. Every bookshelf is different. I'm gonna take those marks I made to the vanishing point and just like the edges, of the bookshelf, you're going to give these a thickness. So instead of doing one line, you're going to do two lines close together to give that edge an edge. All right, now don't forget to put in these horizontals. They'll be really helpful right here and right here and make sure that they're parallel and you're just gonna take them back to this line right there and same thing take it back to this line right here that's where those shells attach to the back wall now from this spot and this spot we're gonna show where those shells attach to the back of the bookshelf just a small area right here make sure those are going to the vanishing point same thing here and you have a nice three-dimensional looking bookshelf. As always, we're gonna add line variation. And that's what it should look like when you're finished. Then go ahead and fill it with items so it actually looks like it has things on it and it belongs in the room.